In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a duotone effect in Photoshop. I'll start by showing you how to use the duotone mode and how to apply the different presets found in that mode. Usually this mode is used when printing with large commercial printing presses, so we won't spend too much time here. We'll spend most of the time using the gradient map adjustment layer, and I will show you different techniques that you can use to create some really interesting effects. Okay, let's get started with the tutorial. Now, I'm just going to show you a quick way of creating a dual tone image. And it's by going into image, mode, and selecting grayscale. Photoshop is going to ask you if you want to discard the color information. Then you can go into image, mode again, and this time select dual tone. This is going to be grayed out if you don't have a grayscale image. Then with dual tone, you're going to get this dual tone options. And you have these different presets that apply different dual tones. And if you double click on one of these colors, it brings up the color library window. And notice that we're using Pantone solid coded. And that's because this feature was designed for printing presses. So you're going to be selecting one of these Pantone colors here and making adjustments to your dual tone image. When you're done, you can just press OK. Notice that in the channels panel, we don't have any of the three RGB channels. Instead, we have one single dual tone channel. So if you like this effect and you want to take it back into the RGB, you can just going back into the RGB mode. But you usually want to stay in the dual tone mode if you're going to be printing on those large commercial printing presses. But this is not what the tutorial is going to be about. Instead, I'm going to show you how to create this effect using adjustment layers. So I'm just going to go into File, Revert, and that's going to revert my image back into its original state. And I can show you another way of creating dual tone images. And that's by going into the adjustment layers and creating a gradient map. The gradient map allows us to map color onto an image based on its luminous values. Currently, the gradient goes from black to white. That means that the darkest points are going to be black and the lightest points are going to be white. But if we change that to, say, this gradient here, you'll see that anything that is black will be red, anything that is white will be green. And that's how we're going to create our dual tone by adjusting this gradient editor. You also have the photographic tonings here under the gear icon. So photographic toning, you can just press OK and you can see the different photographic toning gradients that you can apply to your image. And then there's a whole bunch of them here as well. A really cool one is here under the special effects. This is not necessarily what we're going for in this tutorial, but Photoshop has this really cool chrome looking effect. So if you want to create a chrome looking effect, this is what you would use. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on reset gradients, press OK, and I'm going to click on this one right here, the one that goes from purple to orange. And that's what we're going to work with. And I'm going to press OK. Now, before we continue with the tutorial, I just want to point out that you can use different blend modes and create different effects. So we can choose luminosity to keep the original colors, but use the luminance values of the colors we have selected here. Or we can select color and use the color, but the original luminance values. Then we can also do soft light or overlay. And of course, make any adjustments to the opacity if we need to. But anyway, I just wanted to give you those options so you can create different effects. So I'm going to bring the opacity back up to 100 and I'm going to change the blend mode back to normal. And I'm going to show you, you can make some adjustments if you need to. So I'm going to disable this layer. And remember the way the gradient map works is by looking at the luminance values and applying the colors that are on this gradient. So anything that is black will be purple. Anything that is white will be orange. And the tones in between the lights and darks will be a transition between the orange and purple. And we can make adjustments to this effect by adjusting the luminance values of the original image. And we can adjust the luminance values by creating a new black and white adjustment layer right above the background layer, which turns everything black and white. And we can use the sliders to make tonal adjustments to the image below that based on the color. So we can make the reds darker make the yellows brighter, but you really won't see any change until I enable the gradient map. Then you'll see how by controlling the luminance values, the gradient map changes. Because the gradient map is applied based on the luminance values of the layers below. And now that I'm done making the proper adjustments, I'm going to show you one other thing that you can do. 
select the background and then select the quick selection tool and we're going to make a selection around her so i'm going to click and drag and you don't have to be too precise for this again take a little more time when you're working on your own projects but for this tutorial a selection like this will be good enough so we have the selection going around her our foreground so i'm going to click on the new layer mask icon to create a layer mask and I'm also going to click on Select and Mask. If you're using an older version of Photoshop, click on Refine Edge and simply smooth out the selection just a little bit so it's not so jaggy and then press OK. And now enable all the layers again and create a new solid color. The solid color is going to be white and I'm going to place that below the girl layer. So now we have more of a graphic design effect. So now we can apply text and other things to the side of the image there. So this could be maybe like a web banner or something like that. One other thing that you can do is you can take the layer with the girl and you can press Control J, Command J on the Mac. So now you have a duplicate of that. Click on the layer below and click on the layer mask and then click on invert. So that's going to make the background visible again. But on this layer, you can bring down the opacity just sort of separate the background from the foreground a little bit more. 